Come back to cross over it. What are we waiting for? The sooner we get to the colony, the better for everyone. This is Abaka, the stream of evil. The gods of Ugi have taken their second sacrifice. Hey! Is that all you're going to say? Is that all you're going to say? You are supposed to leave these men! You promised the Igwe, you will bring them back safely. Now another one of them has just died, and all you can say is the gods of Dengi and Zengi. Cross over the stream, and you will follow me. Make sure your feet does not touch the water. That is the only way you can cross safely. And this serves as a lesson to all of you. Wait for instructions before you do anything. Follow me. Wine, how close are we to the Dwarf Kingdom? Five market weeks. What are you doing? Do you want to fill up one water pot with urine? I have finished. But but what? But the urine, it will stop flowing, you know. It's still coming out. <laughs> what do you mean it won't stop flowing? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's still coming out. It's still coming out. You people are looking at me. You people should help me out. It's still coming out. It's still coming out. You people should help me. Agumba! Uh, it's still coming out! What? It's time to blood! <laughs> Somebody do something about this!
Let me push one. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Do you want me to help you? Or you want to stay here and urinate forever? Just show her what you are carrying. Why you go? It doesn't mean. Come, come help me, come help me. Come help me, come help me, come help me. Come, 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 come and just show her. It doesn't mean, show her. Show her what you are carrying, it doesn't mean anything. Say much, they can cut the canca. Ori Mirire Mori. Thank you for the rest of this journey. Do not urinate on any anthill. These are the children of the deity of the earth. Thank you. <laughs> the, man, the big man with a small tail. <laughs> it's not funny. We have to start moving now before the sun sets.
reached the territory of the witch of Hussein. Hmm? Did he say witch? Hey, Kuku, what's wrong with you? Are you afraid? Uh, Black man. As we enter, do not look at her. She charms anyone who looks at her, and that person will not live to tell the story. Therein lies the first access to our destination. Remember, do not look at her. Follow me. That you intend to leave Ikukuebu down there. Ikuku is dead. Do you expect me to go into that hole and fetch his dead body? Why, Iku? Agumba, what do we do now? I say we continue. And I say no one takes a step further until we're sure that Ikuku is dead or alive. Ikuku! Ikukuebu! Hey! Ikuku! Even the dead would have heard that. Hey! So this is the end of the Kukuebu.
Azuka! I'm sorry, my dear. I... I didn't mean to... to frighten you. I have told you several times without number to stop coming to my house. And please, Azuka, stop calling me your dear. Tell my, you know you've always been, you've always been dear to my heart, eh? And you will always be. I am a married woman. Leave me alone now. We have been destined to be together. C can't you see? See, the God took Ugo far away. So that we'll have time to express our deep, I mean, true love to each other. Azuka, I have told you over and over again, I do not love you. I cannot love you. The only person I'm in love with is Ugo Chiku, my husband. Ugo, I doubt if Ugo will ever return to the Ugo village. Ugo Chiku will return and be married to Chedema. There are so many other beautiful girls in the town, not married. Why not take your empty head to one of them to nurture for you and leave my daughter in peace? Uh, good evening. Keep your greetings to others and get out of this compound before the gods descend on you. I say get out! Get out!
I'm going to cut some feathers. What? Hey, it's too. Agumba! Hey. Agumba! Hey! Agumba! Is that why you're shouting like somebody who has come to hey. the lion? Agumba! Hey. Agumba! Hey. Agumba! Hey. Agumba! Hey. Hey! 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 Agumba! Why are you cool? Why are you cool? Get to the colony on time. We must leave now.
Something. There is nothing else I can do. This is the end of his journey. You are not serious. You can't just watch him die. Where are you go? Is it more advice that we look out for one another? You, you can't let him die. Digemba. 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 He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Anybody who wants to get back to Umwese must try and do whatever he can to stay alive. Why you go? We can't leave him here. What is wrong with you, Kimba? What is wrong with you? If Why you says we leave him, we leave him alone. here for now. saved him if you wanted to. But instead you let him die. You've always wanted to get rid of him. What I want or what I do not want has nothing to do with our mission. So if you would just shut your mouth we'll continue with this journey. We will continue with this journey, all right. But without you. You will regret it. Da! Why you go? Do you think that I, Kimba, was born yesterday? Do you think that I would leave Umweze unprepared? Kimba, calm down. Whatever you have.
No same man challenges the gods to a fight. Dikemba is dead. And you will stay that way. They are here. And who are they? We've been expecting them. They come with evil intentions to take the golden axe. <laughs> no mortal challenges the gods and live on bond. have arrived in here but some of them I cannot see we always knew that some of them will not make it back alive the gods do not allow us see those who have been left along the way until they come back alive Will they return with the axe? This is the question. Only the gods know. You prepared them well. If something is learned too quickly, it is also forgotten too quickly. We have done our part. The battle is now left between gods of our land and the gods of in here. We must offer a sacrifice to the gods this night. All those who are left must come back to this land safely and with the axe.
I have told you over and over again. Ugochuku will return to Ox. Ada, I don't know what I will do if Ugo doesn't return to me. He will surely come back. Ugo is a very strong person that never gives up. He will make us proud. I lie on my bed every night. Hoping that I will hear the voice of my husband calling out my name. But it never happened. It will happen. When my brother returns with the axe, both of you are going to have lots of children, both male and female. Then you forget this your moment of agony and grief and cling on to a life of constant joy and happiness. You are just like your brother. You say the nicest things. Let me help you out with this. Oh, God of our land. Please guide and protect my son, wherever he is. Nine. Oh, did him, man. Nine. You are here? Yes, Papa. You're welcome. What of your parents? They are fine, Papa. Uh, when you go back, greet them for me, eh? I will, Papa. Good. Uh, Ada? Papa. When your mother can, tell her that I've gone to see my Zioko. Yes, Papa. Huh? Only a foolish man dips his hand into a pot of a boiling soup. Why, Uku? That which you desire can never be yours. Why, Uku? This is just between me and you. Let's do it. 
else be changed to poison inside of them. We have not come unprepared. We must follow instructions. We we'll make our move on. Are we to remain here? Does it make any difference? There's already no way here. Be at a lot. I find it difficult to believe you. We were just passing by. All we wanted to do is rest for a while and continue with our journey. <laughs> Why you who? Daughter of Unsobu. Nobody lies to the gods. Remember, this is the land of the spirit. Agumba, we're wasting time. Let's attack them. <laughs> for the sins committed by another generation. You are not willing to pay for the injustice your people made on our Ezebia. And we are not willing 
to hand over our inheritance to you. Take them away! an opportunity like this to pass you by. Is it because of that boy? That boy who will never return? Chineke, Oburobo, Yasugi. Yeah. My Ikemba will return. Oh, uh, yeah. And yeah. so will my brother Agumba. Upe, <laughs> even if he returns, assuming he returns, eh, what does he have to offer? In what capacity can he take care of you? <laughs> Mm -hmm. The reason I am this calm is because I don't know what I'll say or do to you. They will say it is an abomination. Yeah. So I'd rather you respect yourself. <laughs> Come here, Maria. <laughs> I know you are pretending. I know you are only pretending. But you better open your eyes now. You better open your eyes. Because when the time comes, you will be the one crawling on your knees. Begging for my attention already, you know that in this village it is one man to 20 women and it's getting cheaper by the day. <laughs> or is it easy to be a successful young man in whom is the community? May the gods strike me dead if such a thought should ever cross my mind. Yeah, <laughs> come now, I'm telling you now. <laughs> now that there are only five official wives, so come and be the sixth one. <laughs> I don't remember why. I don't remember the other one. Let me go and see you again. That one is ever ready. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> why? Why are we taking all this humiliation? To kill a monkey, you must learn how to swing from branch to branch. What do you mean, why? What do you mean? That we play along with them until we were able to find out their secrets and how to overpower them and take the axe. I see if you are still alive by then. Is that, is that what you've come here to do? To die without fighting back? Huh? You get that fought back. What happened to him? Alice, the baby fought like a man. He died like one. I would rather that than to lie back here and wait for those midgets to crawl up to me in the dark and kill me.
Where are you? What is this? Are you from the land of the dead or from the land of the spirit? You want some water? What I have done? Huh? You have just flicked my, my water now. How do I survive this place now? Huh? Where am I? In the land of the living, my friend. Drag my water. Thank you for saving my life. Now I have saved yours. How? Huh? When you fell down from the river and broke all your bones, I mended them for you. But you have not told me who you are. I am Opongo, the son of Mpataku. Opongo. That does not sound like the name of the name. It is a name from Ihi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> are you telling me that I am now in the government? The land of the dwarves? That is where you are. I carried you all the way from the river and came back by the shortcut of the spirit. This is him. She survived. Now I know why the gods chose me. The people of Hawaii, they will have come for the axe. We know, we know. So there's no way we can get it. Unless we have help from the people. Open my eyes, why do we have to do it? Why? We will have had time later. We need to be able to the axe without the right mind. That's what they planned. You see? Our patience has finally paid off. What patience? What patience! If you had your way, she would be long dead by now. How do we accomplish this? You leave all that to me for now. Everything is under control. I'll leave you for now. No one must know I am around. Upon go, we said what to you like that. Come, come. Beyond my. It is me, Wokolo. What is all this? I don't know why you want an opportunity like this to pass you by. Is it because of that boy? That boy who will never return? Chineke. Oburobo. Yasogi. Yeah. My Ikemba will return. Oh, yeah. And so will my brother Agumba. Upe. <laughs> Even if he returns. Assuming he returns. Eh? What does he have to offer? In what capacity can he take care of you? <laughs> Ma, you know, mm -hmm. The reason I am this calm is because I don't know what I'll say or do to you. They will say it is an abomination. Yeah. So I'd rather you respect yourself. <laughs> Come here, Maria. I know you are pretending. I know you are only pretending. But you better open your eyes now. You better open your eyes. Because when the time comes, you will be the one 
calling on your knees, begging for my attention. Already, you know that in this village, it is one man to 20 women. And it's getting cheaper by the day. <laughs> or is it easy to be a successful young man in whom is the community? May the gods strike me dead if such a thought should ever cross my mind. Yeah. <laughs> come now, I'm telling you now. <laughs> now that there are only five official wives, so come and be the sixth one. I don't remember what I Let me go and see you again. That one is ever ready. <laughs> Why are we taking all this humiliation? To kill a monkey, you must learn how to swing from branch to branch. What do you mean? Why? What do you mean? That we play along with them until we are able to find out their secrets and how to overpower them and take the axe. I can see if you are still alive and then is that, is that what you've come here to do? To die without fighting back? Huh? The bed had fought back. What happened to him? Alice, the bed fought like a man. He died like one. I would rather die than to lie back here and wait for those midgets to crawl up to me in the dark and kill me. From the land of the dead or from the land of the spirit? You want somewhat? What I've done, huh? You have just flicked my my water now. How do I survive this place now? Huh? Where am I? In the land of the living, my friend. Thank you for saving my life. Now I have saved yours. How? Huh? When you fell down from the river and broke all your bones, I mended them for you. But you have 
have not told me who you are. I am Obongo, the son of Mbataku. Obongo. That does not sound like the name of the name. It is a name from Ihi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> are you telling me that I am now in the colony, the land of the dwarves? That is where you are. I carried you all the way from the ravine and came back by the shortcut of the spirit. This is it. She survived. Now I know why the God shows me. The people of Hawaii, they will have come for the axe. We will, we will. So there's no way we can get it. Unless we have help from the people. Open my eyes like we have come to do it most. Why? We will have that time later. You mean, you mean we can secure the axe without the time? That's what they planned. You see? Our patience has finally paid off. What patience? What patience! If you had your way, he would be long dead by now. How do we accomplish patience? You live all that to me for now. Everything is under control. I leave you for now. No one must know I am around. Opongo is at work to be left. Again, my dear. Behave yourself, Azuka, and leave another man's wife alone. Which man? The one the gods saw fit enough to deliver us from this curse. Ugochuku is nothing but a boy. But he is far better than you. Because if the gods see you as a man, they would have picked you as well. I am sure that in their eyes, you are nothing but a woman, a coward. Don't you dare insult me because I have strong feelings for you. The same teeth a dog uses in playing with its puppies. It uses to bite intruders. You don't scare me, Azuka. Don't, Azuka, leave me don't alone. Don't you dare walk out on me. Leave me alone, Azuka. You're hurting me. Don't. Azuka. Azuka. What's the problem? I hope you're all right. No, no problem. No problem. Uh, no problem. Uh, no problem. No problem at all. My father caused that land before he was buried alive and because the axe was not with him. I'm not about to set them free from the cause. How long will they suffer for the sins of their fathers? For as long as their wickedness rankles the noses of the gods. But we know that their presence Igwe is a very good man. All he wants for his kingdom to survive. We should hand over the golden house to them. Pantako, the gods don't judge like men. The major ingredient of goodness is to judge fairly. We should judge fairly in this situation. Whatever we judge, I say we should hand over the golden axe to them. Don't even think about it. We should not hand over the golden axe to any mortal. Remember, the axe is our shield of destiny. 
if it falls into the hands of mere mortals, we are doomed. Amongst you all, uh, I am Obongo Ikuko's friend. Uh, I am Ikemba. I have a message about the ass. Hey, shh, shh, stop. It's in the shine. How can we take it? We have to steal it. Right now? We wait till nightfall. When the SRV will be asleep. Stay alert. We will come for you all.
What news? They have the axe. Eh? Eh? Yeah, huh? the axe. <laughs> eh? Right now, they are on their way home. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are the chances of their getting home alive with the axe? Igwe, all lady gods can't tell. What is happening in this land? We should ask you this. You are the one that sent them to the land they know not. You told us that they will come back in five market weeks. Now it is seven market weeks. We do not know whether they are alive or not. I do not have answers to the questions you ask. What we know is that they have reached in the land. What will become of them thereafter is in the hands of the gods. But we believe that the gods who led them safely into the land will bring them back. The flea, yeah. mm. home with the golden axe. Yeah. <laughs> Let them come back to us. <laughs> if all of us will die in this land, let us die. Then for them to die in a quest that will not yield us any success. Yes! I'm finished.
like our plan is working out for her. I still have the axe though, and I'm not about to let it go. Why don't we just get rid of her right now? No, 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 no. We can't have blood on our hands. The ghost will be that we can.
How far yet? Gods, that the axe must return to Moise. The curse must be broken in my lifetime. I will tell them. Tell them. Tell them. Don't you dare die on me, okay? We're on our way home. You can't give up now, okay? Hugo? Okay. Those spares were poisoned. Poison has circulated deep into his blood. There is nothing I can do to save him. Uh, uh, Agumba, let me see if I can get some roots. Hurry up. Huh? Hurry up. Hurry up. Back home to Chidema, okay? God, you have to go. Go on, go on, my friends. Don't forget to go. Okay. I'm back. 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 I'm so much to get this axe. Very soon, this place will be swarming with dwarfs. My pain will not be in vain. Pain? Your pain? The only reason I'm putting up with your nonsense is because the gods choose you to lead us. You wait till we get back home.
Market weeks is half missing, and there is still no sign of he came and my brother. Don't worry, they will come back. The cause of Umweze do not sleep even at night. Eh? Mama, if he came, does not return, I will kill myself. Hey, no, you do no such things. They will come back. I promise you, they will come back. they left, we knew that not all of them will come back home alive. Some will grieve, but the whole village will rejoice. The consolation is that whatever anybody must have lost, 
once that tree is cut down, the gods will compensate. Is there anything else that will hinder their safe return? The hands of the gods of Inhiland are not short. And their anger is very long. They will pursue our warriors until they arrive our land. But we shall continue to make and offer sacrifices until they arrive. Get across this. We cannot come this far and turn back. We must cross this gully before the dwarfs get here. Eh? Again. Come. The axe. I don't the axe is gone. Don't worry. I have it. And now that I have it, stays with me. I told you. Did I tell you? Why you? You stole my axe. Your axe. You must be very stupid. Did you think you will give him that axe right now? <laughs> and who is going to make me do that? I will. We will. All right. Come and get it if you can. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Did you think I would leave Umweze unprepared? Gone with the axe, and we are trapped here. This is the real axe. Ikuku gave it to me when he found out why his plans. He said Obongo made a replica. This is the real axe. How can we cross this? It's gone. Hey! One person. But there are two of us. One has to make the sacrifice for the other. But the ass must get to Umeze. Then Agumba will go. No. No, my brother. You go. You have some more waiting for you at Umeze. Remember this, this mission must be fulfilled. Go. We'll slow them down for you. We'll hold them back for you. Go. Yeah. Go. Go, my brother. Go!
your highness. Behold, it's a Dibia's golden axe. Well, Yuku, your highness. you are a brave woman. Well done. Thank you, highness. But where are the rest of the group? They fought like the men they are. But it is only the one chosen by the gods that survived the wickedness of the dwarves. They all died warriors. <laughs> My people of whom was it? All is not lost. At least we have the golden axe with which to purge our land of the curse on it. Well done, Wanyuku. Thank you, Your Highness. I made a promise which you will not fulfill. He came back. Why you go here? Is a traitor. She betrayed me and my fellow warriors. This is the axe from the shrine of the dwarfs. Your Highness, surely you do not believe this traitor. I left this journey. I should be the one to tell which axe is real. Behold, your highness, as a Dibia's golden axe. He came back, your highness. This is the real axe that I took from the dreaded shrine of the dwarfs. Which of these two is the real axe? This is the real axe. <laughs> My people of Umweze, the gods have spoken. This is a golden axe from the dwarf kingdom. Money. Your Highness. Amaka. Your Highness. Take this diabolical, venomous, wicked, treacherous traitor! Tie her to the center tree in the evil forest where Ezidibia was buried. There, we will bury her alive in the grave of Ezidibia. Yes, Your Highness. Your Highness. I risk my life for my people! Your Highness! 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 People of Uma Umaze, yeah. we have the axe that will rid us of the curse on this land. <laughs> I made a promise that whoever brings us back the golden axe will have a reward 
as a large parcel of land in Nkano, we must also add that all those whose sons have paid the supreme sacrifice to quote this land of the curse on it will not be forgotten. We will make adequate compensation for the loss you've suffered. And their memory will be entrenched on this land from now on to time immemorial. One other promise I did not declare openly is that whoever brings us back the golden axe will have us every reward the hand of the princess in marriage. Ikemba, the princess is yours. Thank you, Your Highness. But I already have a woman I want to marry. Extinction. We will always remember 